Hello everyone, welcome back to On The Fly, today we're recapping Game 3 of the NHL Stanley Cup Final between the Florida Panthers and Edmonton Oilers. We'll hop right into today's talking about the game, and this one was a doozy. When we look at these two teams, obviously very evenly matched. However, what it comes down to are the finer details, and tonight, Florida had them, Edmonton did not. And, you know, we talked about this a lot especially coming into this series. It's going to be about how well you can contain the big line of Barkov and how well you can contain the big line of McDavid, Dreisaitl, and Hyman. Florida has done an excellent job all series long of containing that top line, even so much that they had to separate the line. When we're looking at a floor from Florida's perspective, they played this series perfectly so far. And even with the refs against them tonight, which just is how it works in the NHL, if you go up 2 nothing in a series that's supposed to make you a lot of money, you're going to extend it. Doesn't matter. Florida still finds a way through winning this one four to three. So we'll start here in the first period. This was one very much dominated by the Oilers. But once again, finer details. Reinhardt scores with about minute, minute, two seconds left. You know, those are the goals that you can't let in, especially if you're Skinner, especially if you're the Edmonton Oilers. You have to make sure you keep all pucks out of your net, especially towards the end of periods, because those ones are killers. We haven't seen that arena that quiet, especially all game long. So that being said, you know, the first one, whatever. one nothing, still a close game. Because sure enough, the second period, very similar to the first period, starts just like the same. Edmonton, out hot, scores a goal, Warren Fogel, Ties the game at one. Then we move on, and this is where Florida starts to take control again. But you might think taking control? No, no, not really. Just, you know, Edmonton making mistakes, Florida capitalizing. Just like we talked in the preview, as soon as Edmonton makes a mistake, Florida's going to be there to capitalize. Sure enough, I count at least two of those mistakes ending up in the back of the net. Barkov's the third one. Uh, so, yeah, that was basically your game. But, but, wait, wait for it. It's coming. Here comes the Edmonton Oilers with Broberg in the in the third period. Six minutes in, puts one in. We've got a close game here. 14 minutes in, six minutes-ish left. Ryan McLeod scores one. we got a 3-4-3 hockey game for Florida. Is Edmonton going to close it off? Nope. No, they are not, which means Florida is going to take this one by a score of 4-3. to three. And this game was one of those games where... You know, Edmonton needed it, frankly, to put it to put it as bluntly as possible. This series is all but over. Now it's just a matter of how many games will it be decided in. My prediction of Edmonton in seven is pretty much done now, for being completely honest here. If you're betting, don't. It's uh, Your odds probably aren't great, and Edmonton probably isn't coming back, especially what we've seen from this team. You know, the... They'll, they'll try and extend it as long as they can, but the truth is Bobrovsky is just too good. Let's take a look at the notes from today's game. Too little, too late. I mean, look at a team like Edmonton. They got to come to play, especially throughout the entire game. You can't take 30 seconds off because when you do, especially against a team like Florida, it's going to end up in the back of your net. Second point here is the goaltending from tonight. Both goalies had a little bit of problems every once in a while, but at the end of the day, we saw who was the better goaltender with Bobrovsky taking this game over winning yet another game for his team he is a key player and and just in general a key, key success part of the florida panthers and how they've been and got to this point but nonetheless we'll stop uh, talking about him and move on to the do or die and this is what's really important as we flip over here to the schedule for upcoming game four in edmonton june 15th this is going to be a crucial game for the edmonton oilers if they want any chance you know, obviously outside of the the probably most blatant part of it is that it is in fact do or die, but it is going to determine how the rest of the series go. If, for example, Edmonton can really make a statement in this one, score on the power play, which they're over 10 in, you know, play some decent hockey for the full 60 minutes, the series might be on a little bit of a turnaround. But at the same time, if Florida can play their game, this series might be done in four games. A, a, a highly touted series, too, at that. And we see behind us with all the Canada jerseys, Canada might be going yet again another year with a Stanley Cup dating back to 1993. It's going to be interesting to see how this series goes. You know, if you are looking at it from an outside perspective, sure, there is a chance, right? Sure, Edmonton could win. Sure, Florida can blow this thing. You know, we almost saw them blow a 4-1 lead, very similar to another Canadian team I know. But at the same time, this is 
a series that's starting to get out of hand real quick, especially for the Oilers. Now it's just a matter if they can come back. It's going to be interesting as we take a final look here at the final playoff bracket. We have Florida up three to nothing with the chance to close it out on June 15th. If you made it this far in the video, thank you for watching. If you'd like to drop a like, if you realize you're subscribing, tell all your friends and comment down below your thoughts on game three of the Stanley Cup final. Until next time, see you.